Hello everybody, welcome back, and uh, overall, I am back. The, these last few videos that you guys have seen on the channel have all been pre-recorded, but now I'm back and uh, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to be a bit uh, slow, aka rusty, aka bad at the video game for a bit, so stay with me here. And uh, yeah, basically we have new bikes, we have new tracks every which way, oh my goodness. All the pre-tracks in the world and then the new MXGP track. I think that's the first one we've had in a while from uh, JV. So I don't really know what um, what's going on or, or what happens. But obviously, when I leave to go away for a bit, I come back and there's just so much content to be made and to be uh, to be tested and to have fun on. So um, thank you everyone for these tracks that have been created for the community. Um, it is much appreciated across the community if it doesn't, you know, show or, or in case no one has said it. Um, Kels with this amazing Red Sands MX, I believe it is. Red Sand MX. I can't remember. But it's got three tracks on it that I'm pretty excited to go through. I've only ridden this sand one. I rode like two laps on it. And so, um, yeah, now we're here. We're going to um, go ahead and try to rip through this, this whole, uh, whole track, including the other two. Forgot that was so... So, uh, such a tight corner there, but, um, yeah, we're going to be able to go through all the tracks here on this new KTM preview thing. I'll give you guys my thoughts on everything. So, um, this new OEM pr preview test thing, I don't really know. I haven't tried it on any other track yet. This is the only track I've tried it on. It was two laps last night. And so, um, there's that for the KTM. That's pretty much, you know, all I can base it off of for now, but it feels really good. And uh, I think that overall, we're headed in the right direction. Um, the OEM team's put in that work and uh, appreciate them for doing that as well. Uh, work just definitely, definitely does not go unnoticed. I feel like uh, the community sees it and I feel like uh, we're making strides in the right direction just overall with the game right now. And that's really, really good to see. But in terms of my channel, <laughs> we're not. Um, you know, me personally, um, nothing really going on too big, but I think I'm just going to take a long break in uh, the beginning of July towards the end. I'll start again, but I don't know. It's just right now, that's just kind of where my head's at. I think I'm just going to be, be done for a bit and then uh, maybe come back and the game might be in a better state. Might even be in a worse, but it um, doesn't matter to me. I'm here to uh, just kind of for myself at this point and uh, obviously for you guys, obviously, but I'm talking... And I, I, it's really hard to explain, actually. Um, moving on, this this is a, supposed to be about the bikes and the track. The track works really well here um, with the game in general. And the bike seems to be hooking up well. I'm running the sand tires, obviously. You're on a sand track. If you guys couldn't hear that. We go fourth gear, go put it into here. And uh, there's actually a fun line I like to do over here I don't know this is probably a well discovered line but to just rail this outside is just so fun I was able to do it once for some reason I cannot do it again but I was able to do it once and then like I said I just haven't been able to do it since but I did it once where it was just like a full out rail and it was just so fun I was like pedal to the metal and it just worked but let's go check out the other tracks this one like I said I think this is the most popular so far I'm pretty sure everyone's ridden this one and then uh let's go check out the normal motocross track so this right here i think is called the clay track so let's go ahead and give it a go i have not ridden on this one so it should be interesting here obviously we've got these puddles and stuff so far it's very different um in terms of terrain and like uh like how wavy it is almost i don't know if this is a ruler or not there we go lucky we we didn't send it there Headed back into this corner. This outside looks bueno, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out here. It wasn't really the best, actually, but there's that big old double. And we're gonna go jumping over this, and then into this right hander, and then we're gonna have to it's like, I guess, kind of ricochet off that and then try to stay as low as we can here. Just get that done and over with, and then I'm guessing you could like double into this double across and then just hit these kind of as rollers but uh obviously it didn't pull the tempo i needed to there to, to do such things but i'm gonna go up and over this one and then i'm gonna try the outside here if there's much more of a berm here it might be a bit more 
not viable, but a bit more fun in general. We're not going to be able to snatch that there. And then over this. And then I want to try this right here. What is this about? That is not what that is about. Uh-uh. Not a doable thing, <laughs> obviously. I'm going to stick to my strength here, which are these outsides. Uh, they seem to be they seem to be working well for me, so I'm gonna just keep on using them. And then this kind of looks like a corner turn. It is. Look at me go judging the track. I don't even have a map on to see this stuff. I'm gonna go up. Okay, yeah, I was coming in a bit hot there. I wasn't even realizing how sharp that was gonna be. We got this sand section here. Pop into a little bit of these like roller type things. I'm gonna keep my momentum up. Going on. You guessed it. The outside. Ripping across. Ripping around. Going like this gonna get her done here oh man i went down <laughs> unfortunate um we're gonna basically just try to to sit in uh the main lines here and try to just keep up the flow momentum everything i don't know how good this inside is it obviously wasn't that great but i think it could be i think he did a good job of balancing this uh this track with, like the ruts and stuff um it looks pretty good and well thought out but uh there are clear lines that are just meant to be like the main line if you will so it is a little bit interesting but i'm gonna jump to the outside here you guys already know outside is where i'm at i'm gonna go up here i'm gonna go outside just come around here absolutely scave that corner and then hop into here get on it go third gear try to apex that standing up really didn't work forgot about this not gonna lie then we'll head back, hopefully stay alive, kind of did, and then we'll go inside, and then this is the biggest double, oh, okay, it's not that big, I lied, and then we're gonna go double, double, and then I guess to the outside, so we really have, uh, the line made decision, or the decision made up for us of which line we're gonna take, I'm gonna hop over this this time around, see how well that suits us and it doesn't as we don't go down so yeah this bike is handling poboso a lot better than i thought it would that right there is a little annoying but you can always fix that with suspension and a good bike setup right now it's pretty much bone stock in terms of like important things like geometry and suspension and just that sort of thing i only have the tires and gas change so there's that but yeah this bike so far has been great i can't uh can't say enough about it it's been really good so um i don't know it made it easy to kind of come back and get used to the game again i'm not gonna lie so uh hopefully we have that sort of luck headed into redbud i'm not gonna lie that i'm kind of looking forward to it i've always done well uh on redbud for some reason on this game so not even gonna question it we're just gonna get through it we're gonna try to quali for it came in a little hot again i'm not gonna lie uh still going double i still want to just send that as far as i can to get there i'm gonna try the inside here because it's probably just a little bit better overall i'm not gonna lie i don't see why that wouldn't be and then to head into this corner and just just dump into this trench here this is pretty awesome i love this track man this just seems to be this is probably my favorite i'm not gonna lie this one is definitely fun but uh you could do a lot more learning on the other ones if i had to guess this one's pretty straightforward you just have to kind of learn what lines kind of the fastest and most comfortable and uh we're gonna jump over here and boom there's the the other lap and let's go hop on the suki now all right we have arrived at the supercross i don't know if i'm going the right way i'm sure we will learn sure uh soon enough and yes we have learned i'm going the right way so let's go to the outside here third gear on off please nope okay i didn't even need to send it that big i thought that there might have been a pretty big line there, or was it? So I'm going to ricochet off this berm, just regain a little bit of uh, some speed to get this stuff here. Maybe we need to back it down to second gear. We're going to head into here and just go three, three. Look at that. Look at us go. That was like the best save in a bit. We're just going to go over this, get a nice whoop section here. Ooh, that ride's kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. Oh, a little buck at the end there, too, that you had to control. Love that little skill bump right there. Nice. And uh, I'm going to have to roll this, unfortunately, but uh comes with a job. So we're going to head out here and just go up. Okay, well, nope, just triple there. That's just a triple. That's all that is, folks. 
I hate to uh, break it to you. I think that is just a triple on a 250. So um, we're going to go on off here. If we can get on off, we do. And then go around here. Go second gear. I'm just going to jump over it. Maybe you could jump over and triple out, but it seems like a long shot just given the face of that triple. But uh, this this track alone is just really fun in general, too. This one I can see getting in played because it's kind of a, a normal, you know, super cross track, if you will. So, Although I hate that there's a single there. I hate that it's like a, a double single, or yeah, a single into that corner. It's a little bit annoying, so I might have to try that inside there and see what, see what the outcome is. But... I don't know, this track all around just gives you gives you good vibes. Forgot about this again. Save it again. No, we can't. <laughs> We're just gonna jump into this one. I do remember that this jump is generally shorter though too, so I'm just gonna try to scrub off to the side there. And then try to control the buck we do. And then can't quite clear the triple again. I'm gonna go back and retry it. Cause I'm not having that. Nuh uh. I gotta get it down. We're gonna do it right, we're gonna do it right. Go triple, which we can't do anyways, because I suck right now, so. A little unfortunate right now. So we just can't can't seem to be hitting our hitting our stride or hit the mark here. But uh, we'll try again. Just go fourth gear through here. Make sure we can execute the burn perfectly. Get the drive for the triple, there we go. And hopefully this isn't too big. It's not, luckily so. And like I said, I think that this is just a simple triple jump. And then triple on off. I'm going to use the berm again here. Maybe you can jump over this and single over into here, which might actually even be faster. But, um, I don't know. We'll try the quad. Oh, okay. Never mind. That was pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. That was <laughs> nothing too far out of the way. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to consider leaving a like, subscribing, and putting post notifications on. It would mean a lot. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I try to jump into that. See ya.